Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Wan Yong Sun Min. What the Maha Bodhisattva George Michael once sung, and that's that you gotta have faith. Um, he could have been quoting the Avatamsaka Sutra, which said that uh, faith is the basis of the path, the mother of all virtues. Uh, and for those of you who aren't familiar with American 1980s and 1990s popular music, George Michael was a, a, um, a pretty big pop singer. He'd been with the band Wham in the 1980s. Anyway, so he had a very popular song uh, called Faith. Uh, well, we've talked about faith in this song before. There's just in our informal conversations and, you know, some we've probably all, most of us maybe seen come up uh, here and there um, where um, you have uh, American converts to Buddhism, at least, um, will sometimes be uncomfortable with the translation of shraddha, the Sanskrit word, as uh, faith. And for some, it's uh, sort of disease with um, um, with a, a, a religious a concept from a religion from which the person has turned away and, uh, you know, and isn't exactly looking to find the same thing over again. Um, and others disease with the, because um, using it, for Buddhist terms using English translation that resonates with or has kind of might bring in connotations from um, well even just from the English language let alone from uh, other religions can can be misleading and we've had this discussion I was kind of agnostic on the issue because I hadn't really studied what either Buddhists or Christians understood as faith or how they use the term um, but at least to see the latter argument as, um, you know, potentially uh, some real potential um, issues there. Uh, but studying the Avatamsaka Sutra convinced me that uh, Shraddha was really a central concept that I had to, um, to understand. Um, and so now my new position on whether or not to translate Shraddha as, as faith is, uh, eh, whatever. Um, but th despite that, the etymology of of uh, you know, faith and, and shraddha is actually interesting and, and illuminating and even potentially helpful in our, our practice. So I'm gonna, and I just like this sort of thing, so why not? Um, so shraddha, the Sanskrit word that often gets translated in English as faith, has uh, shares roots with the, the Latin word credo, uh, both of them suggesting trust or credence, obviously credo, credence. Um, but in the New Testament, the word that gets translated into faith, it's the Greek word pistis, or in uh, the Latin Bibles was uh, translated from Greek as uh, fidelis, translated into Latin as fidelis, fidelity. And um, pistis and uh, fidelis mean loyalty. And so in the context of early Christianity, I meant loyalty to the God of Abraham. And, and so, of course, that's just not a relevant connotation for um, uh, for uh, Buddhism or any sort of connotation that's found anywhere in, um, in the term Shraddha. Um, but unlike Credo, um, Shraddha also has roots and connotations of, uh, along with certainty, also uh, immovability, which I really like. I'll come back to that. Um, and regardless of the etymological origins of pistis or, or loyalty, or faith in Christian context, I'm sure most Christians would, uh, would probably hear that connotation of immo immovability and certainty, and would be very happy to import that over from Shraddha, Shraddha to a Christian concept of, um, of faith. Um, but anyway, there are some ways that maybe it's, there's maybe some important differences. So I think in Zen, for example, we've got the, the three greats, um, great faith, great zeal, and great doubt. And so for us, it's not faith versus doubt, it's faith and doubt, that we need them both. So think about like Huado practice, to cultivate that, uh, the great doubt that's necessary um, for that, uh, that breakthrough, one must also have a great faith in, if nothing else, one's capacity to awaken. If not that, you know, it, perhaps, you know, ideally even a great faith in that one is, a, is Buddha, one is awakening. Um, and so, and of course, the, 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 the slogan there, um, uh, small faith, or sorry, uh, small doubt, small awakening, 
great doubt, great awakening. Well, you also got, you know, small faith, small doubt, great faith, great doubt. Um, so there, uh, faith shraddha as uh, essential to um, doubt and therefore to, uh, to awakening. There's a, a scholar who's a former um, a Joge a monk and uh, now a, he's a, well, I guess they're all Buddhist scholars, but a, uh, he, he's a professor at, um, uh, I think at Stony Brook in uh, Buddhist studies. And I, I thought he had a great, well, I mean, he recognizes that the Buddhists use Shraddha in a whole ton of different ways. Um, but and among all those ways, he identified something about a Mahayana faith that I found really, um, uh, uh, really illuminating. Um, he said that, you know, if I think of faith from a Christian context, often as um, faith having that object, you know, faith in something. But he, it's a great phrase, uh, faith of Shraddha is not faith in the Buddhas, it's the faith of the Buddhas. So that faith that was necessary to, to become Buddhas, to recognize oneself uh, as Buddha, the, the, the faith that is necessary for, uh, for awakening. Although the Avatang Saka Sutra at times talks about faith as awakening, as it is itself uh, awakening. Um, and so think of that Shraddha as that, think of it as that, that unmovable certainty, that unimmovability in the face of things like uh, greed, hatred, and delusion. Um, the faith that, as the Avatang Saka Sutra says, the faith that is awakening, the faith that uh, I am awakened, the faith that I am a Buddha, that I am of the Dharmakaya, that I am of, of, um, of emptiness. Um, and so, I mean, we've got another 15 minutes of uh, meditating here, and that might be a good um, opportunity for us to, um, to cultivate that Shraddha, that unmovable certainty as we uh, meditate, uh, and be, ourselves become immo immovable in the face of greed, hatred, and delusion, um, cultivating that, that faith that our original nature is of the dharmakaya, of, of emptiness, of the interdependence with every other thing. Um, and that we you know, know this you know, right, right now, know this um, and you know, here, know, right this instant that we are of that, um, of the Dharmakaya, you know, knows the now, and in this moment, now, and this one, now, just constantly cultivating that now, now, now. And by popular demand, 